Okay, for this exercise, we started with dead hands. So, hands totally dead on the keyboard. We rotate them around, like really feel the weights. Like I'm talking caress the keyboard. You're not engaging any muscle at all. You're just, you're just putting the weights of your hands in the keys, right? And then once you feel like you're getting like really personal with the keys, try, try experimenting with different qualities of sound, something like, right? Like, like see how soft feels like. Try, try different, try different things. Try being chaotic, right? It's important, in my mind, it's important to do this many times and with as much chaos as possible so that your brain will associate um, uh, a particular sound quality, right? A particular sound quality to a particular uh, physical sensation, right? So take a look at the looseness that I have right here, right? Also, try jumping around the keyboard, right? Like, find that natural bounce. Boom, bam, boom. Right? Find that natural bounce. Of course, don't injure yourself, right? Try going forte. Try going piano. Right? The objective is to experiment as much as possible, right? There's no rules in how you do this chaotic practice. That's the point of chaos, that it's completely random, right? So, I don't know, uh, the best way to put it is to, like, really get to feel the keys, you know? Like, like feel the gravity, feel, uh, feel, uh, feel as if the hand was magnetic almost, right? Another thing that I love to try is random holding and relaxing, right? I could be doing something like this, right? You could be like, 